Wow. There we go. Then that they call that blackout mode. That's mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you can look up the video for yourself and you'll be like, yeah, that is literally just Fortnite. Which is a copy of PUBG, which is a battle royale game that started the whole battle and... royale thing to begin with, now isn't it? <clears throat> Well, PUBG didn't start it, actually. Minecraft Wait, which did. one? Minecraft? Oh, yeah! Minecraft with Hunger their Games. Mini games. Minecraft Hunger Games. Yeah, Minecraft that was Hunger the original. Games. That's the, yeah, you're right. It is the original um, Battle Royale mode, which was started by the movies Hunger Games. That's right. So that's the origin story behind PUBG, Fortnite, Blackout Mode in Call of Duty, and the Hunger Games in Minecraft. That's how that's it started. Right. Holy fucking shit. That... I'm glad that we managed to find that origin and say well, something about well, it. Well, I already cause... knew it, but okay. Well, you... okay. I'm glad you shared it with me. You could have just asked me. I hope you included your audio. I did, but you could have literally asked me that. And I it never occurred you. to me. Yeah. It never occurred. Not in the yeah, slightest. It's kind of ridiculous because because people didn't actually understand. They're like, "Where was it? How was this even made to be a thing?" Well, now you know. It just really, it's just off the origin stories of Minecraft, really. Nice. Not off the movies. Uh, the movies, actually, strangely enough, didn't have anything to do with Minecraft stuff. Yeah, until people started copying uh, the um, Hunger Games literally verbatim into Minecraft. <clears throat> ah, I was trying to spray and pray. Just That's like they copied right the now. Red Wedding from... Um, what's that television series? Start with um, Peter Dinklage. The fuck, I don't know. I don't watch TV. It's it's a medieval style mo TV series. I forgot what it's called, but they copied that into Skyrim with a mod, and then it was highlighted uh, in a mod showcase by I think it was Vadiwa or MXR Mods. <clears throat> Hmm. I think you're thinking of a show, though. Yeah, it's a TV it's show. Really popular yeah, it's a TV show. Yeah, it's Probably extremely popular. popular. Um, Game of Thrones. Has a lot of... Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it has a lot of nasty shit in it, like family having sex with each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. that's what I was George R.R. R. Martin likes gay penis, apparently. Thanks, Thanks, South Park. You pointed it out perfectly. It's a bunch of floppy gay dicks getting hard. <clears throat> right, South Park knows what the fuck they're talking about. Trade of Magic yeah. Geniuses. Most definitely. Most definitely. I, we just need to get them to get a YouTube channel and do their own little series of something on YouTube similar to South Park. Are you aware of how hard South Park was and how old they are? How hard South Park was? To, to make. I saw... The extra content with commentary where they literally tell and explain and show you step by step the process. They even made a full on episode of it. Yeah, it's quite ridiculous. They literally. It's a very tedious process. Yeah, they had to take a camera and do frame by frame pictures of every detail, and it takes like months to make one episode by cutting out the, the colored paperboard and laying it down on top of the characters and building them that way. It takes months to do that shit. <clears throat> oh yeah, sometimes even But then years. they switched to a computer program called Maya and it went from taking months to taking a, a couple of weeks. And now they just don't even do it anymore. Yeah. They... I like how 
Their I wonder what drove them to end the South show. Park. Well, probably the hashtag cancel South Park. What the f who the fuck started that hashtag? We need to kick their ass so hard that it'll Freddy take a podiatrist. Wait, they started it? Yeah. Trey and Matt started the hashtag kill South Park. Yes. I both want to kick their ass so hard that it'll take a podiatrist and a proctologist <laughs> to remove my foot and I don't want to kick them that hard at the same time. This ambivalence is killing me. Yeah, they uh, they made that themselves. They said, and I quote, "We seriously hate making this fucking show." <clears throat> Something you may not understand at all, Katana, and you're gonna learn it right now. So, when a company or people make a company and you know they get big and everything they're told to do things so it's not really like it doesn't become fun you know. because they do it because they enjoy it anymore they're just doing it because people are demanding that they do something <clears throat> yeah so after a while they get bored of it and for me that's understandable i understand that fully it's not like something new to me i understand it I've been through that once. Only once. I never want to go through it again. I understand. I've been through it a lot of my life. Yeah, I don't need to add any more to that because I was a part of some of that. But yeah, the fact is, is they got to a point where they were like, look, if anything, we're just sick of killing off people. In fact, that was their exact words. They said we were just sick of killing people off yeah they killed off but the first one was chef because they kept killing off kenny and getting another one and then kenny they could never they, die they, 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 wait they killed off miss chokes on dick they killed off chef <laughs> um who else did they kill off most of the fucking show yeah, they replaced the principal with PC principal. They killed off the original principal, I guess. No, I he's just really else. gay, and uh, he's now uh, he's now Donald Trump. No, that was that was their their fourth and fifth grade teacher. That wasn't the well, yeah, school principal. Right. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Eh, they all seem the same to me, really. After years huh. of watching, I kind of it all who blends they are together. Because, yeah, it all just. Eh. If anything, it just kind of seems like people in my neighborhood. Huh. Which says a lot about my neighborhood. Who was telling them what to do? Was it the fans or was it a corporation? Themselves. They seriously got sick of the show. They were telling themselves to make the show simply to continue Terrible. making yeah. the show, and then they realized, hey, we're, we're not making it because it's fun anymore. We need to stop. Yep. Honestly, you and I both believed very, very strongly that they would continue going forever. I believed it, but then I thought about it for a little while. Trey and Matt, you know, they're really intelligent people. Ah, and it's the Rick Sanchez ordeal. Older. Yeah, they're getting older to the point where they're like, look, we're, if anything, we're just bored of even living. Oh, fuck. Which is sad to say, but... You know, when you get to the point where you're, like, getting told what to do, and it's something that you loved doing, it gets you to the point where you're like, you know what, I just kind of want to die. And that's, that's a fact. You see, Robin Williams was like that. He loved doing, you know, comedy. Until people just started telling him what to do. And uh, he loved it then. When people start demanding that you do stuff in the field that you've chosen to do stuff in, it 
kills your your enjoyment and your love and your passion. Yeah. That that is one driving reason behind my thing of telling people just let me know what you would like to see. Don't demand it of me. Don't no, tell me I, I should. Tell just tell me that you would love to see that and I'll get to it. Dude. Dude, just because I know people will hear this, even if they're watching a video like of mine and they're like, oh, it's so cool. Well, here's the thing. If you know me, my name is Joe is a dub on YouTube. Anyhow, if, if you know me and you're watching this video, here's, a, here's a big query for you. Yeah, here's, here's a big query for you, right? I don't give a fuck what you say. You can kill yourself for all I care. I will do my videos whenever I want and release them whenever the fuck I want. YouTube does not own me. No one does. Yeah, YouTube doesn't even pay me. So, all I'm saying is, my point is this. If you love doing something, don't feel like you're pressured to do something. Just because people tell you you need to do it. What you need to tell those people is, bitch. I know you're paying my bills and shit, but here's the thing, right? You're not going to tell me what to do. My thing in a few years is going to be, yeah, sure, pull your fucking support for my channel. That's why I crammed every fucking penny into my uh, savings account and started buying CDs. That way I wouldn't need your fucking money. So if you want to be a demanding bitch, fuck right off. Go do it to someone who's going to obey you, not me. Well, that, that's just my point, man. That's why people either killed themselves, Robin Williams, Big Pack, or stop right doing there. their show it's, like Trey and Matt did. Or just stop doing their show like Trey and Matt or The Key of Awesome. The Key of Awesome stopped doing their show because people were demanding? Listen to their last video that he did, and you'll literally listen. He says, I think I'm getting too old and I'm sick of people telling me what to do. Huh. He literally says that. People kept telling him to bring back Cat Hospital and he didn't really care for the show. I don't even know what Cat Hospital is, but I'll look it up. Cat Hospital used to be a channel he was involved with. Uh, oh, it's a channel, not a show. <laughs> Well, it was a channel. It's not any longer. It but was. did it get deleted, or did it stop He deleted content? it, yeah. That's oh. why people were getting mad at him. People were like, oh, bring me to Cat Hospital. And he's like, look, I don't like the show, and to be honest with you, I never did. It was a show about cats that thought that they could talk, but all they were doing was meowing, and people were getting annoyed. Are you serious? Why do you want this back? That... Yeah, I agree. He probably thought it was the stupidest thing he'd ever made. <clears throat> he literally said it was the stupidest thing he's ever made. What the fuck? I agree. I, I agree with it, and I'm not going to add anything else past that. That's what I'm saying, you know. He, he quit because of that. Bart Baker, he quit pretty much for reasons. And then he came back for a little bit. And I have a feeling he's probably going to just quit all in general because he's just sick of doing stuff. Or he's just going to go about with his new identity is, uh... <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know how to say his new name without laughing. His name is Lil Bleacho. Little Bleacho? And, um... Is he a black guy? Or Lil Clor- no, yeah, there you go, Lil Clorox, there you go, Lil Clorox, <laughs> Lil Clorox, that's his name. It's the no, Tide Pod what? Challenge, in the form of a YouTube name. Oh my god, yeah. it's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, Bart Baker's not black, no, Bart Baker's a white guy, and uh, he did parodies for quite some time. And then he got yeah, copyright like, strike by one of the people. Getting fucked in the ass by some dude because he's in the in the Illuminati. That one, DJ Not Nice. I don't think that was Bart Baker. No, that no, was Rocka Rocka Ali. I, I get people confused when they do parodies, man. I was about to call Bart him Baker. Weird Al. 
Even I though know, I said right? his name was Bart Baker. I know, right? Totally fucked up. But yeah, no. He he stopped doing videos for a little while, and then he came back as Lil Clorox. <clears throat> Saying that name just makes me laugh. Why why the fuck did he name himself Lil Clorox? No one fucking knows, but it's hilarious in my opinion. Because he's a white guy, and he wants people to know that he's he's so white that he's like bleached. And literally, the song that he released not too long ago is just. I fucked this bitch. I liked it. I hope you like this song because I don't really care if you do. Fuck yourself, bitch. And I was like, what? Huh. <laughs> what What does fucking a bitch have to do with that? What? He created a logic loop by calling everyone a bitch and then saying he fucked this bitch and he liked it. He created a logic loop. Yeah. That's a semantic comedy right there. It's also a sarcastic comedy. I like it. He's a funny dude, yeah. He, he's been making uh, videos for very long. <coughs> as long as Weird Al has. And Weird oh, Al doesn't shit. even upload videos anymore. He literally just stopped. Yeah, he's he's like, Partially what, 60 like years 60. old? 60. Yeah, he, he deserves <laughs> yeah. to take a break. My thing for him, though, is... I would like for a... Weird Al to officially select someone and say, this is the person that I'm passing on all of the attention from all of my fans to. I, I want him to do, or him or her to do the the parodies from now on. And, you know, from time to it time, maybe me. I'll write one and handing it, hand it to him, and, and he'll let you know I did that. It should be me. That would be amazing. I would love to do that. I'm Joe, not even joking. I would. I would enjoy. You doing would put this. too many cuss words in it. And. And the point is, Weird Al doesn't use cuss words as vehemently as you do. What are you trying to say? I cuss too much? Too oh, goddamn yeah, motherfucking much. You say bitch way too fucking goddamn often. Fuck salt. I do. I do, but that is part of my appeal. Yes, Balto. I'm saying things really loudly. Balto wants me to stop yelling My... so loudly. Wait, that was your choice to yell loudly. I had no like. I was just doing it to it. add a, a punch to the delivery. Right. Well. My my uh my thing is is I I think I could do stuff for Weird Al. That'd be fun. Uh, although I I know you could. Should do is some... You could although do two I versions. You could do the clean version that Weird Al would approve of, and you could do the dirty version that uh, you would prefer to do. <laughs> although I would prefer him to do something that <coughs> Kyle Gas and. Uh... Jack Black are doing. They're making a new TV show or a new show in general that they literally just made in Microsoft Paint. And they're Damn. releasing it to the public. I'm I'm not making this up. That's actually what they're doing. And they're both in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, somewhere around that age. I'm not. They're both pretty damn old by age. now. My point is, is he could do the same thing. He, it's not hard to use Microsoft Paint. Hmm. And I think it would be oh, great for to hire that, he guy. Does. that guy. He's a fucking fantastic actor, so I can see it. <laughs> An hour left on that one. So I would like to see that, you know. He could do it. He's he's a great artist too, so he could probably do it better. In, in fact, though, uh, you know, their their thing that they're making kind of looks like a two year old to draw on it. But you know, whatever. Does it have magical rainbow farting unicorns in it? <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. Then it's worth watching, at least for the comedy. 
Literally, it's about them fucking a bunch of bitches. I wish I was making this up, but I'm not. That's actually what it's about. <laughs> That's definitely not a cartoon definitely for kids. I forgot what they were going to name it, but it is actually a show that's coming out. By Tenacious D. Damn, dude. <clears throat> if I find out what it's called, I'll let you know, but I don't know what it's called at the moment. Comments below, guys. What, what the fuck is it called? Tell me. Yeah. When this video goes to YouTube and, and my 21 people who have chosen to subscribe actually see it, leave a comment down below. I don't have to look. I mean, I might, might, I'll probably look it up anyway, but tell me, tell me what it's called. You were about to say tits to me. Tits to me, what it's <laughs> yeah, called. tits. Send me tits. Send Joe dick pics. I mean, tit pics. That is not what I said. <laughs> you can send those to him, but not me. I don't no, want dick you. pics. I've got my own I can take a picture of if I want to, you crazy bastard. Yes, but I have my own that I can take a picture of, and I have quite a lot for ladies. Let's not you worry know, about that. The only reason somebody's going to watch me play or watch the video of this uh, Clicker Heroes game is because we're providing meanderingly hilarious commentary. Oh my god, not meanderingly hilarious. Okay, fucking meandering. 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 Come on, Helen Carter. What are you fucking you can deaf do now? It. Meandering. Meanderling, okay, I got Meandering, it. Shut up now. not Durling. There's no oh, L or in care. it. I'm gonna fucking punt you in the face, okay? Punt? Look, I don't care. Exactly. Shut up. I could give a fuck about words. I got thrown out of school, okay? Why do you think I give a fuck about words? That was your choice to get thrown out of school. I walked out. Thank you very fucking much. Very fucking <clears throat> well, you walked. I got thrown. Yeah, we Literally. we quit school yeah. long before Rick and Morty set made it fucking fabulous. Okay, so fuck every goddamn one of you. Seriously, I literally did get thrown out. That's a, that's not a joke. I seriously got thrown out. Yeah. Joe got thrown out, and I left school and quit it long before it was fucking obviously cool. So, fuck off yeah. with the Rick and Morty references. Yeah. We're the original Rick yeah. and Morty. Actually, we're the original Rick and Rick, but fuck you anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually was drug out by cops and thrown. That's, oh my god, dude. You mean like in the movies where they <laughs> throw you, literally throw you? Yeah, that's actually what happened. That's oh my I god, I dude. I can't believe that really happened building. to you. Yeah, that's actually what happened. That's why I said I legitimately got thrown out of school. That's when we get our part. magical time-traveling elf powers back, let's go back, watch that, record it, and then bring it back to the present and upload it as a video to both of our channels. I wouldn't want to do that, but all right. Sure, I'm going to say yeah. Okay. We just have to take a lot of extra precautions oh, that we yeah. don't meet Jesus. ourselves. Fuck. And ourselves right. don't notice ourselves. It's going to be very oh. difficult and oxymoronic. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to dress up as William me. Shatner's version of Captain James T. Kirk. Who are you going to be? Gonna dress up. You know what you should dress up as? You should dress up as Tilk from Stargate, SG-1. Not even going to happen. I'm going to dress up as myself. <laughs> Just be careful that yourself in the past doesn't notice yourself from the future. Wouldn't be that bad, trust me. But you told you me that people that die shit. from meeting themselves in the past. Some people, you idiot. 
Oh, we don't classify as that type of people. <laughs> that kind of slipped my mind. I was concerned. Fucking Nimrod. Nimrod? Nimrod was a great warrior. Thank you for the compliment, dumbass. Bet you can't fucking Nimrod know it again. Also... Nimrod was also a penguin. And Mr. Popper's penguins. No, Nimrod was Nimrod was one of the humans in the, the in the frickin' past that was mentioned in the Bible. You know the Nimrod basic instructions before leaving Earth. Penguin and penguin. I'm using the historical reference. I'm not using Jim Carrey's Mr. Popper's penguins reference. Okay. I chosen my Have reference. You, you cannot penguin? use another reference after I've made my choice. Because I am the one you called Nimrod. Therefore, I get to choose the reference point. Listen, you, I'm the one who knocks. I'm the one who does not answer the door. Screw you! We're rude! If I knocked, you would better answer. If I'd you be knocked, like, knock. I would fart. No, actually, I probably wouldn't what? fart because I can't fart on command. I can. That's sad. That's fucked up. How did you acquire such an amazing power? It's not a power. It is. It's a magical power. Well, you just have to learn how to squeeze your stomach like that and go. It's a Every command, time I've right tried there. that before. I've managed to shit my pants ever so slightly. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta do it not to shit yourself. Well, let's, let's just say once. Let's just say once muddy, twice shy of the 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 the, the mudlands. You know. Right, let's well, just say I don't I'm go gonna... into the swamp anymore. I leave Shrek the just fuck the alone. Fuck... See. Here, here lately, I could, I could fart on command all, I've been doing it all my life. But it's just because I'm a psychopath, and I like to fuck with people. You only said that to try and fuck with me. I'm actually being honest with you. Yeah, but at the same time, you said that to fuck with me. Yep. But I'm being because you too. know that I know being a psychopath or a sociopath doesn't have fuck to do with the contraction and release of your abdominal muscles. That's simply a matter of mind over matter. I've learned how to use my mind over matter oh. all the way throughout my life. Are you happy now? I am moderately content. Because if, if you don't mind, I don't matter. Bam. Oh boy. I do mind, and you do matter. I just don't mind oh what God. everyone says all the time. Dude, I just farted on command just then. If you were there, if you were here, you would have smelt it. I should have included my face it. cam so that I can. everyone can see me shaking my head very melodramatically. Well, now they can hear you say that you're shaking your head melodramatically. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Here, hold on, wait a minute. It's like hold the slow there. turn and tiny free. nod from Jimmy Kimmel, but without the tiny nod. And it's a slow turn Take from side to side. Stop. Hold yourself. Calm down a moment. Cortana, go away. I will not go away. I'm right not here. you. <clears throat> I know. I'm just fucking with you. Um, anyway, um, I, I'm going to go. And, uh, as Katana sat there, explaining to me how he couldn't fart on command, Morgan hey. Freeman laid down a bunch of rabbit turds. Tasty rabbit turds at that. Oh, I didn't taste them, you nasty fuck. Oh, what the hell are you doing? I just called them no tasty damn. to oh, make people damn, ask dumb is... questions oh. for the sake of comedy. It's called... Well, down. I don't know what it's called, but fuck you. They're tasty little rabbit turds. Listen here, Jimmy Kimmel. I'm listening. Ain't no Jimmy Kimmel. I don't think. Slow turn and, and a Kimmel. tiny nod. I don't believe you in the slightest. Uh. 
You don't Howdy believe me. No, I farted and burped at the same time, but no, don't. Well, next time, try to fart, burp, sneeze, and hiccup at the same time. You'll wind up in an alternate dimension known as the Land of the Dead. <laughs> I don't think that's going to kill me, but all right. It's worth a try. I would rather not try to die. It doesn't sound like fun. I didn't say it would kill you. I just said you would wind up in another dimension. Death. Uh, that's, that's, that's the dimension. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would give you a massive heart attack if you're not aware. Really? Yeah, it actually would. That would seriously put a crimp on an otherwise damn fine plan of comedic irony. Yeah, a lot of people uh, would think that it would send you to a dimension. You're right, the dimension of death. But literally, it would just kill you. Virtually, you would go yeah. to another plane of existence. But in reality, you'd just be dead. Yeah, um, I've hiccup, burp, sneezed, and farted all at the same time. And... I was damn near close to dying. That was a long ass fucking time ago in a town <laughs> called in Kickapoo. A town called Chickapoo. Chickapoo. Okay. Right. okay, I think I think I've gotten enough mindlessly hilarious commentary over an otherwise boring as living fucking idle game. It's a fun game, Shit! but it's an idle game. And it's boring at the same time. Hey, Joe. No, there's a bunch of games that are boring, dude. Yeah? Go ahead and tell everyone goodbye. Hello, I'm at goodbye. Till next time, everybody. Stay frosty.